Hey YouTube, this is Henry Ford's RC. Uh, let me put this on my head. I just want to uh, help out a few guys uh, with some setups and stuff. Just let me put this on my head. Give me a second. Alright. Okay. Hope this is nice. You can see this. Um... Let me move this car and turn this one sideways. Okay, what I want to do is um, this is for Adam from Nitromad. He uh, wants to see how the sway bar is set up. So I'm just going to try and get close and let him see. Now, this has no shocks in it. Okay, I just want them to see how it works. How the sway bar, the sway bar is even. Now, I usually set up my car with no sway bars um, and just have the down to do the down stops. What the down stops is, is if you see, I have it set at five on each side. There's little blocks underneath the car. Gotta make sure they're straight. Okay, and then I set it right there on the suspension. I have it where it's set at five. It just touches. Both sides should be set at five. Well, it depends what setup you have. But that's what I do first. And now to set the downstop screws, right in here, there's a little screw. It takes this, the, the control arm up and down. You should have front and each side left and right in the back the same same with the front left and right the same that makes the car handle um, sway bar the length of the sway bar right here should be the same on both sides um, the these the suspension the length of this should be the same on both sides Okay, and, and there's there's a little pivot ball inside here. These make sure that the suspension is free enough that you can that it'll fall back down. You want the suspension to work. It needs to be able to fall back down. No nothing stiff. Okay. That's that. Um what else? Shock lengths. Your shocks should be the exact same length from tip to tip on front front and back the backs both sides should be the same it all makes a difference okay so each of them have, from tip to tip make sure the same they should fit exact there's that uh, let me think what else these, these uh, adjustments here adjust your wheel to go in and out. So when the wheel's on the car, when the wheel's on the car like this, it'll, it'll adjust the wheel so it's tilted this way more or this way. That's what that does, that one there. That'll adjust how much it tips. Um, now you should also, when you adjust your down stops for your control arms, Make it so that the shock doesn't actually go farther than it's supposed to. The downs, the, these control arms should be the exact same length as this. You don't want the control arms to go down more. That means you're pulling on the shock, which you don't want. So you want it just right. See how it lines up? That's the, the mounting point and to there. Now you could go lower okay that's one way of looking at it um, let me think what else I can help them with your sway bar make sure it's centered right here and here make sure it's centered good I hope I'm getting it okay make sure that's right um, what else um, 
same with the front the front is basically the same way I'll flip it around this is together okay the same same setup now you put this it should be it's probably not because I haven't played with this one in a while but see this one it's at the bottom it's set at one that's one I don't know what this side is uh, it's pretty close it's set at one so yeah it's set at one these are very cheap to buy these ones are just from Intigy they're just blocks underneath the car you make sure they're not on any screws underneath your car put them center set your car on it sometimes you have to hold it get it stiff and just put it underneath so it clears these ones are set at one now just by turning this oh wrong screwdriver just by turning this there's a down scrap screw here and here for each side of the control arm now if you watch where I have it set on one I hope I'm getting this I'll try and turn it and you'll see it'll raise it up oh I have it really off oh no there it goes so now I can almost fit it underneath I got really there we go see now it's under almost under three it is under three it's at three and that'll raise your suspension up which in in return will lower the car now you want both sides to be the same front left and right in the front same with the back you want left and right in the back to be the same that way the car don't swerve curve go this way go that way the car is equal um, a lot of people say to set it up with the batteries everything in it I do it with everything out it's easier to work with if you got to do stuff but you would you want them so they're exactly right so now I'll hold it and that'll drop down I want it set at one see how it drops down I don't know if you can see it still a little more there we go now it's set at one same as this side set at one there we go uh, you do your chassis the same thing they sell they sell different sizes there's that one for a bigger car even a bigger car and then they sell a smaller one for smaller cars okay you do your chassis the same thing get it so it's it's uh it's equal you do this with the wheels on it and you can make sure you got your chassis equal on both sides okay that that way you check make sure your chassis isn't twisted the cars equal sitting sitting equal all, all around um, what else can I help you with I just want them to take a look how it all how it's all put together uh, I'll just pick it up and let them look at the front end really close that way he can see just so he has a good idea this one uh, the sway bar same thing now this sway bar I'm gonna show you from underneath hopefully you can see it I'll move uh, down here so it's a lot easier to see right in this hole don't mind all the fluffies in this hole adjust your sway bar not that's not the screw that's holding it in down I'll show you there's the big one that's on the outside which is this okay that's the one that just holds the little ball there's another little ball inside there then this one fits down inside it actually it actually adjusts it turns it up or down I hope you can see that there's a sway bar there okay maybe this side will it's a little dirty this side you can maybe see it from this angle there you go see how it see how it's uh, turning it that'll adjust your sway bar up and down 
Okay. Now, uh, let me see what else can I show you. Um, your sway bar. You want it to lift. You get yourself a little ruler. You you can you can do it. No, you can't do it that way. You can do it this way. You lift this side. See when this one starts to lift in, it it's right at. Uh, no, sorry, the same side. Okay, you watch this side. Right now, it's almost at three. You lift this side and you watch. It's hard to do it. It's hard to do it um, and get the camera in there. Okay, here I can do it like this. So you watch this side and you see, see, lift this side and it takes it lifts right around almost three and a half it starts to lift now you do the same on this side this one's a little lower because i've been messing with it but you see that side it needs to be adjusted it's going up really fast way before three and a half okay so that needs to be adjusted now to adjust it there's a little ad ad adjustment there. Some of them have these holes, but you can adjust it that way. You just just uh, undo it right here. Undo the. There's a, a thing right there. You just undo that and turn it a couple turns. That will adjust it so they they go evenly. That's another way of doing it. So like when you lift it and you watch that side it should lift around three and a half and it's not it's lifting way earlier so you either want to do it the same as that one see this one it it just starts lifting at almost three and a half it starts lifting mine's a little stiff right now because this car i haven't messed with in a while uh it's just been sitting in my cabinet i'm waiting for a an adapter um I don't know how much time I got, but that's that's just some helpful hints. Uh, also, that's what I can tell you on that. Make sure your steering lengths are both even. Okay, make sure these are the same length. These two. Make sure they're the same length. Your sway bar lengths, the same length okay and then another thing get yourself a straight bar so you can measure with the tires on measure that you're perfectly straight as in straight I mean not the tire like this but straight for drag racing you want them straight you don't want them tilted in or out for circle track what these cars are meant for you want them straight get the car as true and as straight as possible there's that. Uh, let's switch vehicles. I'll show you my my uh, serpent that I ran last night. Now you try and you try and another thing to get the car right set up right. Um, let me just move this. I know I'm getting close to time. Uh, probably you want to be able to lift it, and both wheels should come off the ground the same time okay I'm gonna take this off my head and I just want to say thanks to everybody um, and have a great weekend um, let me see if I can get it in the center of the car and you should be able to lift them it should come off the same time that means your car is straight if it's not that means say this wheels lifting off the ground uh, first that means the spring up on this side at the front needs to be tightened down okay vice versa if this one's lifting off the ground first that means that spring up here is too soft you need to tighten it down same as the front. You spin it around, do the same thing on the front.
I gotta go. It's time to go. Okay, YouTube, thank you.